Hey Titan fans and engineers, welcome to the tutorial on communicating with a Titan using RS-485 and Ethernet. First we'll communicate with the Titan using RS-485. Let's power on the Titan controller, making sure you get that cool blue light. Most Windows PCs don't come with the RS-485 communication port, so you'll need to use a USB to RS-485 converter, like this one. Use the USB device driver provided by the RS-485 converter, and confirm that the virtual COM port is working properly in Windows Device Manager when it is plugged into the PC. Open up the Titan software. Open the communication window in the software and then click on the USB slash RS-485 tab. Select the COM port of the USB slash RS-485 converter, click on the check COM and confirm that the communication is working properly. You can try going to other screens and confirm the communication is working properly. Now if the communication is not working, the following are the potential issues to check. First, check the 485 connections. Make sure that 485 plus, 485 minus, and ground pins are connected correspondingly. Second, check the network ID and protocol. You can check the settings by opening the protocol and ID setup screen. When the Titan is shipped from the factory, the default network ID should be 1 with default protocol setting. Third, check again to confirm that the USB to 485 device driver is installed and working properly. If you're still having problems, contact our support team. Next, we'll communicate with the Titan using the Ethernet communication. Now, the Ethernet communication is going to be slightly different from communicating with USB or RS-485, so be sure to follow closely. First, confirm that the Windows PC has an Ethernet communication port, either built in like this one over here, or using the USB to Ethernet converter. First thing to find out is the IP address of the Windows PC. Let's walk through on getting this information. Open the command prompt and type in the ipconfig command. In the Ethernet section, you'll be able to determine the IP address of the PC. Next, let's configure the Titan's IP address so that it's in the same address network as the PC. In order to configure the Ethernet IP address of the Titan, you can use the USB or the RS-485 communication. In this example, we'll use the USB communication and confirm that the USB communication is working. Next, go to the configuration screen. In the Ethernet section, enter the IP address of the Titan using the first three numbers of the IP address of the PC. For the last number, enter a value that is different from the PC. For example, we'll use the value of 101. Keep this IP address handy since we'll need to use it later for the ping test and in the communication section. For the gateway, enter the same first three numbers and 1 for the last. Then enter the submask with values of 255 for the first three and 0 for the last. Download the new settings. Store the parameters to the flash and power cycle the Titan. For Ethernet communication between PC and Titan, you can use a hub or if you're communicating one-to-one, -one, a crossover Ethernet cable. In this example, we'll use the crossover cable. By the way, you can see the Ethernet communication activity from the blinking LEDs on the RJ45 connector. Open up the command prompt and let's type a ping command with the updated IP address of the Titan controller. If the IP address is set up correctly, you'll get successful ping reply messages. All right, let's go to the communication window of the software and select the Ethernet socket communication tab. Enter the IP address of the Titan. Again, this is the same IP address that we used for the ping test. Perform check communication and confirm that the Ethernet communication method is working. Again, you can try going to various screens and confirm that the communication is working. A cool thing to note is that the communication with USB, RS-485, or Ethernet can be done simultaneously. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial video on how to communicate with the Titan using RS-485 and Ethernet. Thanks for watching and happy servoing!